have a look at Stephen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First frame, Stephen Hendry to break. Well, having watched one legend, we're now watching another one, Stephen Hendry. Not the best break off ever, but the flick on the blue has uh, took the white back into the fork end of the table. And Stephen Lee, gentleman that's playing a little bit better this last uh, few months. He's been struggling a little bit with form over the last season and a half, but he is a class player. And this match is a hard one to call. You would say that Hendry is favourite, but certainly not a certainty. Nobody would be surprised if Stephen Lee won. That's how good a player he is. Albeit the black's tight on the cushion, he may risk playing this for the black. Big angle to get round the back if he wants to, to play for one of the bought colours. Went all out for the black, and it could be costly. I think it's the right shot, though, Willie. It's, uh, it's the shot he'd play all the time, isn't it? To hold and get the black back onto his spot and get started early on. But he's now left a, a nice easy one for Stephen Lee. What? Of course, the blue been off the spot on the pink. It's not going to be easy. I watched their match in Ireland, which is the uh, first ranking event of the season. It seems about... Uh, five years ago now but Stephen Lee beat Stephen Henry there 5-1 played quite well like you're saying I think Stephen would be the favourite wouldn't he uh, Stephen Henry yes I think Stephen started the season very very poorly as did a lot of the uh, the top players all struggled earlier on but he's just found a little bit of form well he didn't uh, look so good the other day in the semi-final of the league where he lost 5-0 to Selby but Selby did play very well indeed but apart from that match, these last couple of tournaments, he's, he's played more like his old self. Yes, why do you think the top players now when he tend to start a little bit slower than they used to? I think it's changing the guard, Terry. I think when we went through it, when it was me, you, Virgo, Mountjoy, Fagan, all those, I think you come to a time in your career when the new guard are coming through, and I think we've seen that this last year and a half. You know, the, the likes of the Stephen Lees, Hendrys, um, Peter Ebdens, Ken Doherty. A lot of players, but, you know, a little bit out of form because the new guard are coming through. And they've got it to do now, Terry, haven't they, to compete with these young guys? Mm. Look a little bit unlucky. He had to uh, arc the cue ball there to try and get into the reds. I think he tried to go into the main pack. But still, it looked as if he could uh, nudge one red on there, but just the safety coming up now. Stephen Lee, eight. Yeah. <laughs> 
players are talking that uh, obviously first day of this tournament and the ones that's already been out there and played are saying it's very quick and quite slippery off the cushions it means it's sliding a little bit which is normal for the first day very fast same problem Four. here for Stephen Henry as uh, Stephen Leand is uh, getting one of the big colours into play Five. This is a tough one to play. Always missable when they when they like that. Five. Miss it by a long way though. Mm, so the other problem of course he was always going to leave the black on the pace he played it if it had got closer than that it had been even nearer the pocket it doesn't make any difference Stephen Lee a nice red to get started Whoa. is that that's really careless whatever you do when you Eight. play a shot like that don't finish straight on the red on the cushion he feels he had a bad contact but uh, he's having the cue ball clean so we'll have to give him the benefit of the doubt to the reason he hasn't played it well let's have a look at the angle what he can do with this well he's got just about enough to run it round Great shot. Good Nine. recovery. Just a little bit lower than he wanted, but it's no real 16. problem because he's got reds in the middle pocket as well. He would like to have been on the one at the bottom of the bunch, and he can still play that one and play into the pack of reds and bring pink into play, and should be on pink or black. Depends on what angle he has on the red in the middle, whether he can get it nicely up for a bought colour. But he's going to have a lot to do with the cue ball to get back onto another red. Ideally, he'd like to stay on the black. Oh, that's another bad shot. 17. I don't know whether he feels he's not getting a reaction from the cue ball, but the previous match they were getting through the cue ball okay. And I'm sure it's the same set of balls. Well, I don't think he'd often uh, say that Stephen Lee didn't very often get through the ball, but I think he's having bad contacts. It's the second one. But that really was dead, really, isn't it? The white then is... And you can see who's left with very little angle to uh, get on his next red. So looking down the 24. bottom, nothing available, just the safety. Stephen Lee, 24. Mm. 
No, you can say it's a little unlucky to push a red over the corner when playing safe, but in saying that, he perhaps should have had a little glance at the pack to make sure that wouldn't happen. So Stephen Lee leads by 27 points, and there could be a few more to come. Playing the plant here and trying to get a good white at the same time. Ooh, foul. That's a bad white now, isn't it? Stephen Hendry, four. Oh, that's a, a bad mistake. Eight. Well, Stephen Hendry's very comfortable down on the black. Fifteen. Made more centuries than any other player. Quite an, uh, I think it's about seven, one for sevens. He's made in tournament 16. play. He hasn't shown that sort of form so far this match, but it's very early and this is the best chance he's had. a catastrophe because uh, for somebody of Stephen's class not to 23 no he was going to kiss that red he probably felt he had to kiss it full ball and the fact that he kissed it half ball he's just lost the white 32 points each key point of the frame Stephen Hendry, 23. So both players have had a relatively good chance in this frame and still all to play for. It always takes a frame to settle though. Very rarely does a player get a hundred first frame.
poor safety from uh, Stephen Hendry then. And uh, this frame, both players have had chances, and the quality hasn't been great. Oh, I thought that was in. Can he see it? I don't think so. We tend to get this sort of pattern with these top players sometimes. If one starts badly, then the other one sort of gets affected by it. Should liven up before long. It's a very good shot. Well. So you had to play it with a lot of side to get around the black. I'd like to have been a little bit closer to the black, but it's still very much available in the corner. Missable this one. I know what's going on, Willie. <laughs> Missable? Even you wouldn't have missed that in the 80s. Eight. I wouldn't have gone for it. Eight points in front. Needs an angle on this next pink to either move the red off the cushion, which you'll need at some stage, or play for the loose one. Doesn't have the angle no. now to get onto that red that's near the right-hand cushion, so he'll have to play for the one up in the ball carrier. Mm, this is not the best shot. I think he played for the red in the right-hand corner. He's under hit it by some two feet. So still neither player Steve settled. Hensley. Fifteen. And still all to play for. The red on the right hand side, obviously the key ball. see that Stephen's so disappointed because he's not got any sort of angle on the green to be able to get onto the red. The brown's the only one he can get onto the red now, but then he'd have to miss the kiss on the pink and the black. I don't see there's uh, any advantage but to pop the green and play a good safety off the last red. Screw back. Leave a half ball safety shot. Could play the safety now, but I, I think the three points is handy. Then play a good safety off the red. Could have done with another two feet of pace in the cue ball because then it would have been a very easy safety shot, red in behind the black, white up into the ball end. But the angle he's got now, he can't do that. This is one of those where almost you can always play the very close to the pot red, but make sure you get the white up into the ball carrier. The red will stay in slightly open play. He's playing a very thin, that's a negative safety shot for somebody of Stephen's Stephen class. But maybe he thought that was the only way out.
Well, his tension wasn't to uh, for the red to catch the pink on the way across, and he's been a little fortunate. He's covered the red. <coughs> Stephen's intention here would be to for the red off the bar cushion up towards the yellow. Pretty good. Then when did it straight on? It had gone on to the uh, top left corner pocket, and he's been a little fortunate. You might play back through the gap between brown and green here. The key thing is to get a good white here. Well, he's played it nicely if it's got pacey enough. Well, this will pot, it's not hard enough. This is worth the risk. The cue ball will do well to miss the kiss on the brown and green if he plays it plain ball. So it all depends whether he goes all out for the pot or play it as a shot to nothing and try and miss the kiss on the brown and green. If he plays it plain ball, he'll kiss the brown and green if he plays the pot. Plays with side, he can avoid them. I <coughs> no, don't think he went for the pot, really, did he? He played the can and then off the colour to come down behind the black. I mean, it's, it's the second time now he's been very fortunate when he's played a poor shot. But that's how the balls run, as they say. That was a massive stroke a lot, wasn't it? Missed the pot by a mile and caught the blue quarter ball. Well, you could see a bit more of that red than I thought from up here. I thought he was playing it thin for a minute. He's played a good shot there. The one thing that's been noticeable in Henry's game the last few months is that his safety has improved a lot. It uh, hasn't been happening in his first frame. Well, Stevens had a quick glance at the potting angle, but I can't see the, the value in taking the pot on, so I think he'll play a safety. Well, he's took it on. I, he probably knew he was going to kiss the brown and felt that at least that'll slow the white down. Very risky pot, that one. His turn to get away with it. Two ways you can play this, you can play uh, cushion first. You can play cushion first and send the red up the balk into the table. Or you can just try and hit it full ball and send the red there. But whatever happens, you've got to get the cue ball close to the cushion.
one of the few players that uh, comes down to the side, the side of the table to look what safety shot he's playing. Alan McManus is another one that does that. Most players just judge from where they are at that top side of the table and play from there. It's a good shot. He's using the black, obviously, as a cover on that side of the table. Not a difficult shot here for Stephen Hendry, knocking in the uh, right around the table. Don't think he can get in behind the black. Oh, did he play it in the middle or not? Well, he's got it and he hasn't apologised. What do you think, Willie? Well, I was just about to press it here, saying that he could actually hold for the black and play the cocked out double, but... Yeah, they're always a little bit fortunate there, but it is on. You see him played a lot in exhibition matches. That is so careless, Stephen. Look at together. I thought it caught the jaw there. And Eight. This is a little bit more tricky now. He's going to have to play this slow with left hand side, which makes this a, a tricky pot. So he couldn't play it plain ball because it would have been too Seven. close to the green. He hasn't played that well. He's 21 in front, so he only needs the, the green really to put him 24 in front. So he doesn't have to play any heroics getting onto the brown nicely. Very Thank scrappy you. opening frame. Well, there was no breaks of any significance in that game, but Stephen Hendry seems to have done enough to take the opening frame. It looks from here as if you can hold the cue ball behind the blue and send the brown back down the table. Depends uh, how he sees it. It's a long way for the cue ball to travel back down behind pink and black, but that's another option. No, he just didn't hold it. Didn't get the spin on the cue ball. And he's not happy, Stephen Lee, with... Uh, the way the balls have been in this frame, there's a few kicks or it seemed like kicks earlier on when he lost position.
Well, the black wound there is uh, in, in Henry's favour rather than Lee. Not easy now. With pink and black down this side of the table, seemingly a big target to get to. Now his uh, options are restricted. I think both players would be glad to see this frame over with and get on with the rest of the match. Been running 32 and a half minutes so far. Oh well, that's changed things a little bit. <laughs> the way the pink and black's gone, will he? Well, there's a chance here. He can actually play the brown in behind pink and black and play thin and try and get the white up in behind the blue as well. He doesn't necessarily have to get the cue ball there. He could play this very thin. White towards the bought pocket off three cushions. And brown in behind the black. But he's playing the other way around. He's trying to get the white in behind the black and pink, which is a little bit more difficult. Well, it's a little bit unlucky to catch the jaws, to be fair. What did he play then? I don't know what he played. I mean, he didn't get near to getting the snooker behind the pink and black. I mean, the brown was uh, always going to come back down the table towards the cue ball. At this moment, Stephen Henry cannot pot the brown to save his life. He's had about three goals so far. You get this when one player requires a snooker. You would bet money on Stephen Henry potting that brown if he needed it to win the frame, but... I don't, there's something about when your opponent needs one snooker, you think, well, I better make sure of this, and then you just don't sort of focus on the shot. So he's looking now. Well, he looked anyway at putting the cue ball onto the uh, knuckle of the middle pocket. I he'll change his mind. He needs to be patient here, Stephen Lee, because if he can get behind that pink and black, I tell you, it'll be a difficult snooker to escape from. Well, I was very optimistic. That wasn't patient and, and really a very poor shot. Because Stephen Lee is one of the best uh, tactical players in the professional game and he should have just waited there. Four. Well, it's certainly not been pretty this opening frame, but I'm sure that Stephen Andrew will now keep Stephen Lee sitting in his chair. Having a glance at the scoreboard, and he has conceded, so no breaks of any significance in that frame, but that won't worry Stephen Hendry as he takes the open frame.